my god. Are you guys seeing that? Kind of work out because I'm pregnant. Yeah. Yes! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my birth and labor vlog. I'm so excited for this vlog. I can't wait to tell you all about my birth and labor. I really um, wish that I filmed a lot more content throughout the labor and birth, but um, to be completely honest, in the moment, I just was not thinking about it. And Steve was literally there like holding my hand, holding space, just supporting me the whole time. So he really didn't think about picking up the camera. So we got little snippets and my birth photographer, she also got snippets, but it wasn't as much as what I wanted, but I still feel like what I am gonna share with you, you'll get a good feeling as to what it was like. And I thought I'd sit down and just do a little chat at the beginning so I can kind of tell the story as to what happened and when and how I felt in what moment, etc. I love watching birth vlogs. I just think ugh, women that deliver babies, it is just the most incredible thing like that our, body go, our bodies go through. And I just, I think it's so special when women share their journey and share their videos. Like it's probably my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. So I'm super excited that I have a birth vlog. I didn't do one with Taj and massive regrets. Um, but today I'm gonna to be sharing my birth story with baby Tala. So I am gonna be condensing this down because you will actually obviously be watching my birth and like labor, but I still wanted to talk you through a little bit of like from when it started, during out, until we actually met baby Tala because like I said, I didn't get to film as much as what I wanted, but my waters broke at 1.39 in the morning. I woke up to like a popping sensation and a wet patch on my bed. And I was so excited because I didn't get to experience this with Taj. Um, so I woke Steve up, called the hospital, got my bags together, called Megan because she was coming to grab Taj. We woke Taj up. As soon as he opened his eyes, you'll see he was like, labor. He's just been waiting and hanging out for this like we all have. So that was super exciting. Um, we went down to the hospital. Steve was like, can I grab a coffee on the way? I was like, yeah, my contractions are like sweet. They're pretty manageable. Um, so my labor all up was close to 12 hours. Now I would say for the first nine, I really enjoyed it. Now, Obviously, as you go further into your labor, closer to birthing your bub, the surges or contractions do get more intense, they get more frequent, they get harder to manage. Um, but I just find this birth in particular, it's very different to the birth with Taj. I just feel like me and Steve as a couple and as people, we're completely different people, but we're so much more connected now. We've grown up a lot, we've learned a lot. We really came together as a team. We did hypnobirthing, which was I highly, highly recommend. Um, but I found the first nine or 10 hours, yeah, really enjoyable. I think it's such a beautiful, connecting, loving, like experience to have with your partner. I feel like it takes your relationship to a new level of depth. Um, and Steve was just incredible. He was so supportive, so beautiful. Like I could not have asked for anything more from him in our labor. I just, I loved every moment with him. We had beautiful music playing. We had the candles set up, had all my positive affirmations. He did a lot of love. My love language now is physical touch. He did a lot of touch. Um, and I just felt so safe and so supportive with him. So I really enjoyed that whole process with him. And even when I hear, I, I always play my birth and labor playlist on Spotify. And every song that I hear, I just like feel this instant, um, oh, this sounds so cheesy, but I feel this like warm <laughs> fuzziness in my body and like love in my heart because it's just such a beautiful day that we got to meet baby Tala and we experienced that all together that I just, I don't know, I'll always cherish and remember that day as just a beautiful day, not only to meet, meet baby Tala, but like I said, I feel like it took Steve and I to another level of depth and connection in our relationship. So if you are pregnant or you are trying to have a baby, I think it's something really, really exciting that you can look forward to is how transformative it is for your relationship and for you as a woman as well. Um, so yeah, the first bit really, really enjoyed. The contractions were definitely getting harder. Um, I had an epidural with Taj. I didn't have one with this one. I left it too late. I really wanted to try not to have one and see if I could do it without it. But I was also very open to like, if I need it, I need it. Um, so I think on about the ninth hour is when I asked and reached for the gas. And that was amazing. That definitely just helped me manage and get through. 
my vision was to have a water birth. I really, really wanted to birth in the water. Now, when we first got there, the, the big pool at the hospital that I was at, another woman was in there birthing already. So I didn't get to go in there. But when she finished, we were like, can we get in there? And so when she finished, they cleaned it all out. And then I got to go in there. So I was in the bath for probably maybe like two hours. And as you'll see on the video, I did try to push her out in the bath. Um, but she was not progressing. <laughs> she, was, she was not coming out. Um, I think it was about nine o'clock was when I was about five centimeters and I birthed her at exactly 1 p.m. So as I said, in the bath, I was trying to push her out. She was not coming. We tried on all fours. We tried on my back. Steve like lifting me up. I was pulling my legs back. She was not coming. So they advised me to get out of the bath and onto the bed. The bed was the last place that I wanted to birth. Um, it just didn't feel like it was the most um, comfortable, natural position for a baby and for gravity to help get baby out. But at that point in time, honestly, I was so, so exhausted and so done. I just wanted this baby out. I would have done anything. At one point I was like, get me an epidural. I want a cesarean. I just want this baby out. I can't do this anymore. And they say in hypnobirthing as well, that when you're at that point where you're like, I can't do it anymore. That's when you're in transition. Like that is when your baby is so close. Now, as I was pushing and I, I was pulling my legs back, they showed me photos. Like you could see her head was like coming out a little bit, but she just wasn't coming through. Um, so my obstetrician said that he was going to have to cut to create more room because they just thought she was too big to actually like come through. <laughs> um, and she did not She did end up being quite a chunky bubba, um, but I just did not want to be cut. I was just so scared to be cut. So instead he put two fingers inside me and pulled down on my vagina and kind of tried to stretch and open me up a little bit more. Um, and once he did that and I pushed a lot, she came out and it was really cool because I actually got to like pull her out and pull her on my chest. Um, now the moment of like finding out the gender, honestly, I, it wasn't even on my mind to look at the gender. I was just like so relieved and excited to meet my baby. Like I could not have cared less if it was a boy or girl. No, I didn't care anyway. Steve really wanted a girl, um, but I honestly didn't mind. And when they, when Steve, they were like, do you want to know what it is? I was like, let Steve announce. He was like, it's a girl. He was so excited. I didn't believe him though. I was like, are you sure? And I'm pretty sure this is on video. I was like, are you sure? And the midwife was like, look, she's got a vagina. I was like, oh my gosh, we have a daughter. Like I was so sure we'd have a boy because there's just so many boys on my side of the family and on Steve's side of the family. Um, but no, we had a little girl and we called her Tala. She was uh, 4.11 kilos, which is 9.1 pounds. So she was over a pound heavier than what Taj was. She's a chunky monkey and she still is. I feel like she's so chubby. It's so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, that was the day that we met Tala. And oh, I just, I'm still, I still can't believe that I have a daughter. Like she's just so beautiful. So she's just over three weeks old as I'm filming this now. Um, but that was kind of, yeah, in a nutshell, my birth and labor story. And now you guys can actually watch it as well. I think I'll do a video as well, just answering a lot of your questions that will come through because I'm sure when you watch this, you might want to ask me some different things. You might not, but I thought that'd be fun to do a separate video with a whole Q and A because I love talking about my birth. I love talking about labor. I love talking about babies. Um, so yeah, I would love to do that. So maybe if you guys have any questions about my birth, you can pop it in the questions box below and I'll film a separate video to that. But otherwise, this is my birth vlog. Good morning, guys. So this morning at 1.39, my waters broke. It was like a popping sensation and then like a wet patch on my bed, which I'm so excited for because I didn't get to experience that with Taj. Um, so I've woken Steve up, Meg's is on her way, I've called the hospital, um, taking it slow because it's very manageable, it's just like period cramping pains, but we're gonna wet Taj up because he's not coming to the hospital with us. Um, I think he'll be excited, but I'm scared when we leave, he'll be like overwhelmed. What do you reckon? I'm not sure what he, how he's gonna react. Can you hear Fizzy downstairs? Yeah. So okay, all right, let's go wet Taj up. Labour, my water's broke. Don't say any more. Huh? Don't say any more. Why? I'm not 
Oh, I'm excited. Excited? What's the baby to fall? Oh, it's not going to fall, honey. Come here. <laughs> it won't fall, baby. It's okay. I'll get out, miss. Okay. Let's get here. Excited. Come cuddle. Come here. When I was little, um, when they watched Peppa Pig, I was like, oh, I want a brother and sister. Oh, you want a brother and sister? One last guess. Do you think it's another boy? Very low now. <laughs> so, it's like in the middle, so. Um, so yeah. Gal. Hey, okay, Auntie Megan's on her way over, so we've called her. <clears throat> and she's going to come here because we'll go to the hospital soon. And then when the baby's born, she'll bring you later to meet them, okay? And I'll try and get a balloon organised for you in that time, hopefully. Are you excited, baby? Uh -huh. Frizzy, baby, baby's coming. Oh. Excited. Excited? Yeah. Game on. Game on. Are you excited? <laughs> oh, Tashi, it's happening. It's funny that when we prank Dad, when we prank Dad, that the water broke. It happened the next night. I know. Crazy, right? 40 weeks in uh, two days. Two days. That's very close when I went out. Yeah, you were, what were you? 40 weeks before. You are so clever. Yeah. Look at Frizzy, he's trying to get amongst. Mm -hmm. Oh, my boys. Is it another boy or is it a girl to the family? Time for mummy to go to the hospital. How are you feeling? Excited. Excited. Are they gonna make the water drop? It's already dropped my water. I thought they said that it didn't drop enough. No, it's okay. But it's dropped enough. And then the baby just is it dropped in does sometimes um the, does the water drop like little bit and then the baby slowly starts to go down yeah so it's slow every time the mummy's tummy gets tight it's slowly coming down yeah. <laughs> oh i'm definitely more frequent now How are you feeling, Dad? Ready to rumble. Excited? Yeah. Ooh. Can't wait to meet him or her. What you got? Still girl? <sighs> girl, but I won't be surprised. Yeah. 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 How you doing, Mama? Good. Good. I feel emotional, but like excited. Like, yeah. I could cry just happy tears. <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, All those oxytocin, oxytocin, oxytocin. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Feel love. Yeah. But um, lots of movement. Surges are getting more tense and like harder. Yeah. But just dropping in and going with it. But Steve set up beautiful candles and my affirmations and we've got two photos of Taj there's one of Taj and yeah. Steve and one of Ian Taiji so I'm gonna keep looking at those but so it is now 10 to 5 the water's broke at 1 30. so yeah Lasting like 
maybe is that 40 seconds you reckon? Yeah, they're picking up gently, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Tati was here, hey. We miss you, Baba. Love you. Bye. Love you. Talk to you soon, okay? Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye.
go with the flow, huh? Okay? Here we go. feeling honey excited excited do you um have any feelings of who you think they might be like boy or I girl think, i think it's a boy now when i saw the baby i thought oh it's, i think it's a boy i think it's a girl what have you got there i've got a present for baby cute taji when we first get there you're going to meet the baby and then you're going to get to do the balloon how do you I'm feel about doing the balloon? You're going to pop it. Sunny's going to pop it because I'm going to block my ears. Oh, really? Is that what you want to do? Do it together. That's I'm super cute. Block my ears. And just see what color so comes I out. So I get to do it. Oh my gosh, you guys are the cutest. Oh, 
How are you? Thanks, bro. <laughs> Got a balloon for you. Oh. It's just what do you think? I think it's a boy now. You really? Thank you. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold Here, Tess, well. uh, I'm yeah. in the toilet. Tess, <laughs> you in the toilet. Tess, 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 you in the your sister, baby Tala. When I go back to school, I will. I, the baby will probably be still zero. Yeah. Baby Tala. Uh -huh. Only a couple of seconds old. She's a couple of hours old. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I think so. Is that for my YouTube? No, my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably put it on your YouTube. Yeah. Oh, you got today. I hope you guys won every game. Did you? Feels a bit hard, hard and sticky, doesn't it? Cool. You feeling, Mama? You got this, puppy girl. Good girl. Oh, ow. Oh, it hurts. She's got a strong suckle. First feed. Mm. She had a little um, went after birth, which was good. But this is her first problem, I suppose. Day two, Taji, being a big brother. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> Good. I'm a little brother. Your big brother. Your big brother, Lola. I'm your big brother. Oh. That's so cute. Hi, Tala. Hi, Tala. Your name is Tala. This is so beautiful. <laughs> your name is Tala. You can say, I'm your big brother. I'm going to look after you. Oh, she's opening up her eyes. 
eyes. She's rolling her <laughs> eyes. Not interested? It's a baby! It's a baby! Not interested? Don't think he's too too bothered. We'll see what Scooby does. Come here! Come here! Scooby! Scooby! Oh, Scooby! 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 Sit down! Scooby! Sit! Sit! Scooby! Sit! Scooby! Sit! See a hiccuping from here. Love your sissy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? She's just like she's looking at you, getting to know you, isn't she? 